Hi, it's Dan from DV247, and we're taking a look at the VC compressors uh, from Native Instruments, the Vintage Collection. Uh, in the first video, we looked at the 160, the VC160, and now we've got the VC76, which is based on the 1176 uh, classic compressor, uh, absolute staple. Uh, one of the best things about the 1176 uh, and the VC76 in this case is it's a very, very versatile compressor, even though it's got not many controls that you'd see on a classic uh, style compressor. So you've got an input, an output, and your attack and release. Uh, it's a fixed uh, threshold compressor, which means what you do is you actually drive the input into the threshold, which means more of the signal will pass the threshold as opposed to a, a variable threshold. You've also got a wet and dry knob, so you can actually achieve parallel compression with this, and you've got a ratio of 1 to 1, which is uh, not uh, compressing at all, so you can actually just listen to the sound of driving the input, uh, which you do on the old styles by driving the transformer, which Native Instruments have given you here. So what we'll do is we'll take a listen to that as well uh, in the context, but I wanted to show you the sort of two sides of the coin to this compressor, which is the fact that you can have a kind of aggressive um, compressor uh, with a very high ratio uh, or you can have a gentle style compressor to help things come out and sit sit better in the mix um, so that's what I wanted to show you first actually um, we're using um, this uh, mix uh, we've got here um, and I've got a Wurlitzer track uh, which again is available in uh, Native Instruments Complete uh, that one of the SCARBY libraries sounds absolutely fantastic uh, and let's just take a listen to it in the mix as it stands and then what I'll do is um, it's going to get a loop going as well, so we can hear it in the context of the mix. Uh, and we're going to use uh, the VC76 just to give it a bit of, uh, just to help it sit better in the mix without affecting it too much or actually hearing too obvious a compression effect. So let's have a listen to how it sounds on its own at the moment. And I've added a bit of reverb and a bit of EQ just to take the mud out of it. So it decays a bit quickly, so I'd like to just work on that a little bit with the compressor. It doesn't sound too bad, uh, but let's just see how the VC76 can augment it without actually having too much of an obvious compression effect. So we're going to load up the VC76. And OK, so let's just take a listen to it on its own. It's breaking up a little bit, isn't it? Let a bit more of the transient through. So we had it on 12. It's breaking up there. It's putting quite a lot of compression. But let's see how that sits in the mix now. It sounds it sounds a bit compressed, so I'm gonna take that down to about eight and see that hear that again. down to four with a bit more okay so it sounds good on its own but let's see how it listen sounds in the mix have a longer having a longer release time means that it actually spreads the sustain out a bit and helps it to sound a bit more legato So with a few knob clicks, you've actually got a quite an effective sounding compressor. So if we take it out, see how it... So it's not pumping or sounding too massively over compressed, so that sounds pretty good. Um, so that's kind of showing you how it sounds very kind of neutral. Um, and, and sort of gentle compression to help it sit and level out in the mix and give it a bit more a bit more of a confident sound in the mix. So I'm going to show you on the other hand how to use it to to um, make drum sound a bit more aggressive, which is possibly not right for this mix, but I just wanted to demonstrate really um, how, how, how that can help a drum sound kind of break through and sound a bit more aggressive. So here's the drum track on its own. And we're going to just add the VC76 I mean, even with the initial patch, you can hear it. Now, the best way to set a compressor, if you're going for a compressed sound, especially with drums, is to time the release and the attack to, to, to make it pump with the drums. So what we're going to do is put quite a high ratio. 
and now bring the release down. There we go. Let's, that's letting all the transient through there. And that's clamping down on the initial transient. Let a bit of punch come through and then bring it down to something like eight. Eight to one there. Bring the input down a bit. So it's pulling 10 dB of compression there. So let's see how it sounds with and without. Given that classic sort of a bit more pumpy. Now it's taking control of it and letting it letting the transients punch through and letting it breathe a bit with the drums. It's a classic sort of compressor setting where you've got it set at like 10 and 2. So you can hear the difference that's making. Uh, now one of the things I, want, I was talking about before is the fact that you can actually set it a ratio of just one. So all you're doing here is just driving the input. And if you wanted to get a bit more of a sort of um, aggression out of a sound without actually having any kind of compression effects other than the, the actual compression from distortion where it starts to clip and clip the, the peaks and sort of level things out, um, this is this is good for that. So let's take a quick listen and see how that sounds. Take the up, down, and then you can hear that clearly distorting there. But it's not actually compressing anything. You see the meter there? It's not actually putting any grain reduction down. So let's we level match it as well. You can hear it. The transit, the effect of a transistor on a kick drum. That'll actually help the kick drum um, on things like. Um, iPod docks, where it actually adds upper harmonics to um, to the areas of the signal that you, which sounds like the kick, who wouldn't usually be picked up in something that doesn't quite get a, a low reach like uh, small speakers. But um, so you can clearly hear the effect of the compressor there. So that's the VC76. It's just a quick look, so let's see what it can do and show you the kind of the yin and the yang of it. As a sort of desert island compressor, if I was left with only that in the world, I wouldn't be too upset actually. There's, there's a lot of control you can have over it and it actually sounds great. So thanks for watching.